Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Well, following on from Update 10, and all the things that were fixed in Update 10, it's been no surprise, here comes Update 10.1. Yes, folks, with any update, you know there's going to be some eggs broken. You can't break an omelette without breaking some eggs. And you know what? That's true of this update also. However, Frontier have jumped on it and are addressing the problems as quickly as they possibly can. The updates for update 10.1 follow. Yes, folks, it's Tuesday the 1st of February and not long until Valentine's Day. Mark it in your calendars. And with that, we've had an announcement from the community management team that there is going to be an update rolled out across all platforms, update 10.01. Now, update 10.01 obviously comes after the update 10, whereas that update did give us an awful lot of improvements in regards to stability frame rate, not stability as in server connects, and other quality of life fixes, as well as fixing a host of problems. A lot of people were expecting fleet carrier interiors to drop with update 10. We were told that's going to be update 11, so stand by for that one. But like we said, with all updates, there are going to be issues, and some things will then not be fixed, and have to be rolled out in a series of hot fixes, such as this one, update 10.01. So what have they said? The update will take place around about 12 p.m. UTC time with minimal downtime required. The hotfix will be available at approximately 12.30 or a little bit earlier. They are predicting there to be a minimum outage to the game with this particular hotfix. So what they're going to address in their, in their updates of note have been that the fix has been implemented for the HUD failing to update when the SRV would collect cargo. This is where you would need to relog to continue to make further collections. That's been a big issue, especially for those commanders who have been trucking around trying to get some, uh, some materials from land mining. Typically just what I've been doing. Um, a fix has also been implemented for the SRV, only being able to pick up one item at a time when transporting cargo. So, see the before fix as well. Quite frustrating. They seem to be following me around. Um, a fix has been implemented for deceased NPC bodies blocking reactor consoles at some settlements and a stability fix has been implemented. This will be of interest to commanders who are currently struggling to progress through the main menu before encountering a crash. Because if you can't play it, you can't get on it. Or if you can't get on it, you can't play it. Either way, quite a short and small scrappy update. So one could assume, and it's only an assumption, that it's all steam ahead for update 11. Hopefully when this update comes through, it's not going to cause any more problems. I think, and reading some of the forums and some of the comments that have been coming in, the community, especially on consoles, have just about had enough. I mean, they're on the, they're on the knife edge of just going off and doing something else if they haven't done so already. Even though player numbers have had a recent slight surge of late, especially since the Christmas period, I think many more incidents like this and then, you know, you've got to think, is there going to be a way back and a way back for the communities on this game? Which would be a shame because as you can see, it's looking absolutely fantastic. This video is being shot in true 4K, 60 frames per second, no dramas, and it looks absolutely stunning, especially when you compare it to what it was upon first release. Machines would be overheating, air would be flowing out the backs of graphic cards on PC ports, console commanders crying into their beer because they can't get hold of Odyssey, and quite rightly so, because they want to get in there, they want to experience all the things that PC commanders can. So, hopefully, there's not going to be any more problems caused by update 10.01. Who can say, though? We've all been here before. But we've got to give them everyone the benefit of the doubt. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching this short video on this update for Elite Dangerous Odyssey and Elite Dangerous Horizons, I suppose, in some st stage of the game. And check back for more videos in the series. I'll see you soon.